We made Iski uh, a member of our post and a mascot of our post, and um, uh, he comes to the meetings. Iski did 300 missions, and he, he's a true hero. When you see that he had lost a leg in, in combat, um, it really touches your heart. So this is a bite sleeve. I like to do it with Iski because, you know, it was kind of a big fun play time for him. <laughs> ah, leave it. Yes! Oh, good boy! From my experience with working with dogs my entire life, they don't really care what they get as long as they're well taken care of and they're going to be there for you. You can only hope to be the person that dog thinks you are. We went to uh, Germany to pick up new dogs. My chain of command said, all right, you're getting Iski. He's the bomb dog that has come in. They let him out of the kennel. He come running right up to me, excited, jolting around, come up to me, and then he peed on me. Uh, just from pure excitement. And we kind of just hit it off right then and there, uh, but he picked up things really fast. We got certified as a canine team. We were handpicked to go for uh, President Obama to do a search of his room, of his hotel. Um, we've been in 10 different countries, um, small and big. Uh, we deployed to Afghanistan. I had always joked, uh, Maybe maybe I'll be the exception that when this deployment's done, I can just take Iski home with me because I mean we had just had such a great relationship, and um, that kind of, that joke kind of came to reality when he got hurt. We got a we got a call for a small mission. Um, I needed to search the area, and Iski was sniffing whatever we could. You know we had shots fired at us. We get behind the vehicle where the steps come down. Um, as we're going up, there is a small explosion. It all kind of happened simultaneously, and I'm going up, and um, uh, his left side falls off the stairs, his right leg gets stuck in the stairs, and it takes it back and snaps his elbow in, I think it was six different spots. And he wouldn't walk, and he's yelping and screaming. Immediately, um, you know, I yelled for a medic. We had to get medevac over to our veterinarian. And within 36 hours, we were in Germany, um, and he was in surgery. They end up putting his leg back together, and they go, well, we need to do more MRIs. They found a nerve tumor on his right side, and it would have grown up into his brain and killed him within six months. So when they said, well, we might have to take the leg, you know, we found this tumor, and I immediately, I was like, he's mine. I want the paperwork to start now. And it's been a little over three years now, and he's, worst thing he is now is fat. Everyone loves him. We've only been in the area for a year and a half, and we feel like we kind of belong here. CK Hardware and Helen Wyckoff, every year uh, we do a hometown hero event, so I immediately went to Helen. I said, I got our hometown hero, and it's going to be Isky. And she got real excited about that, and because uh, he really is a true hero. Iski didn't choose to serve this country, he was chosen to serve this country. And he did though with dignity and honor and valor and he's awesome. Right? Yes, you are. Yep. Yep. Iski, you can do anything you want, buddy. You wanna come in? You wanna lay down? <laughs> When we did the research to try to find out if he could be a member, uh, the American Legion wasn't able to say he wasn't. Uh, and we had all the proper uh, documentation to show that he was a veteran and he served during wartime. He just needed to be able to pay his uh, annual dues and uh, we picked that up as the post since he has unable to uh, obtain funds on his own. I have no idea what it would be like without Iski. Uh, I usually have nightmares. Um, when it comes to that type of thing, so it's really hard to think about. Iski can't get along uh, without Wes, and Wes can't get along, uh, you know, without Iski. I think it's great that uh, when he was retired and Wes was retired, uh, they were both able to stay together uh, and support each other. There's some things that I'd rather not talk about, but 
there's times I'm just sitting there uh, watching TV and next thing you know I'm starting to sweat. I, I get overwhelmed with a lot of thoughts. And you know, he kind of recognizes that. Um, and he'll come over and he'll just lay his head on me. And he's just kind of like that grounding spot, you know, like we've been through the same stuff together. I was there, he was there. Um, we've been through a ton of good times, a few bad times. And just kind of looking at him, I mean, if I have the same attitude as he does, like, well, life would be a lot easier. He means everything to me, you know, next to my, my family, it's Isky. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.